British researchers reported that puberty blockers had not changed volunteers' well-being, including rates of self-harm. Those results were not made public until 2020, years after puberty blockers had become the standard treatment for children. With gender dysphoria in England, in 2020, Dr. Olson Kennedy's group described the initial psychological profile of the children enrolled in the U.S. study, whose average age was 11. Before receiving the drugs, around one quarter of the group reported depression symptoms and significant anxiety, and one quarter reported having thoughts of suicide. 8% reported a past suicide attempt. In a progress report submitted to the NIH at that time, Dr. Olson Kennedy outlined her hypothesis of how the children would fare after two years on puberty blockers, that they would show, quote, decreased symptoms of depression, anxiety, trauma symptoms, self-injury, and suicidality, and increased body esteem and quality of life over time. That's what she predicted would happen. None of it happened. So she didn't release the report. When asked in follow-up emails to clarify how the children could have good initial mental health when her preliminary findings had showed one quarter of them struggling, Dr. Olson Kennedy said that in the interview, she was referring to data averages and that she was still analyzing the full data set, which is word salad. This is not fun. This is not funny, and it's not fun. The left has destroyed every institution that Americans trusted, every single one, the universities, the high schools, the elementary schools, the medical profession, the sciences, everyone. That's all they do. That's all the left does is destroy. Liberals build and sometimes destroy, but they also build. Conservatives build, sometimes they destroy, but the left only destroys. 